Hello, my name is Lee Mountain. I'm an ADI with thedrivingschool.com and today we're going to be learning how to reverse round a tight corner to the left hand side. Um, at the moment we're currently parked up just before a junction on our left uh, with sufficient space and room so we can see that it's safe enough to reverse round into that road on the left hand side. So what I'm going to do, we're actually going to pull just past this junction using our pom routine to move off, get ourselves to just about one or two car lengths just past the junction, we don't need to be miles past, so we need to be reversing loads and loads and loads before we do our reverse around the corner. Um, obviously we just need to be about an A4 sheet of paper, the length of an A4 sheet of paper away from the curve. And just about to see the corner that we're going to be reversing around in my wing mirror now. Um, it's important to note that the wing mirrors are going to set up in a certain way, um, basically that we have about a quarter of the car showing in the wing mirror. Uh, and because this is only a three door car, the middle of the door handle is in the middle of the wing mirror, between top and bottom. That way we don't need to see too much of the sky, we can still see plenty of road and what's coming down the road. And we can still also see the curb for when we're doing manoeuvres such as this. It's also important to remember that different cars will have different reference points. We're currently driving a full Fiesta, so these are the reference points and how we do the manoeuvre in this car. So I'm going to set myself up in reverse, use my pommel routine obviously to, to start the manoeuvre again, observations done, keeping the car nice and slow as we're moving back, looking mostly out the back window, to the side looking at the road we're going into, and as the kerb of the road we're going into on the left hand side starts to appear in the back left window and starts coming down that window to the front. I'm also glancing in my wing mirror and as the corner of the kerb disappears in my wing mirror I check my blind spot to make sure it's okay. I do my full lock and I can also start then looking into the road we're going into on the left behind us. From our turn point, once we did our first steer, if anyone comes up behind us in the road we want to reverse into, it's important to remember that we need to stop the car straight away and go back to our original start point because we don't want to be making that person or that car slow down or stop or go around us at the junction we're trying to reverse round and into. Once I'm into the road, the car has got parallel now, straight in the wheel, as you've seen shortly, a short while ago. I can now keep my hand in the middle of the steering wheel at the top, put my left arm behind the passenger seat to give me a bit more leverage to look round. And once we get into this road, we want to come down and back about four to five car, car lengths back into the road, making it safe for then anyone who does want to get out of that junction at the top, giving plenty of room to get past us and back in. And the three main things you need to remember about all manoeuvres is to keep the car slow, do appropriate observations all round, and the steering needs to be relatively fast and get it done, get it completed, so you're not wasting time. Once you're four to five car lengths back into the road, you can then stop, secure the car, and that's the end of the manoeuvre. And if you have any queries or questions, please go to the drivingschool.com website for any further information that you need. Thank you. Hi, my name is Naz, and I'm an ADI, and I work with the drivingschool.com. Today, I'm going to be